still tried hitting on me. Can you believe that he asked me that new steakhouse? I mean, God, is he too blind to notice that I turned down all the office lunches? God, I hate how everyone just assumes you eat meat. Hey, Jess? Uh, I'm gonna get going and decompress and everything. Y yeah, get dinner. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Yeah, Jess, it's Eve. You're not gonna believe what just happened to me. I went to go look for something for dinner and I found something really gross in my fridge. I think it's meat. I don't know how it got there. The only thing I can think of is that it got stuck to something I bought at the store the other night, but I don't know. It's strange. I can't believe this is happening, Jess. Bill filed a harassment claim against me. I mean, just because I wouldn't go out with him, he's gotta go and make something up. He's an ass. No, they wouldn't tell me what he said. They just called me down to their office at 9.30 tomorrow morning to discuss an incident with Bill. Incident? Really? I mean, all I did was turn him down for a date. How can that be an incident? <gasps> oh, God! Jess, uh, I just, I gotta call you back. I gotta call you back. from Jess. It's just there. I don't know. Uh, no, please just think I'm crazy. No, maybe it's a joke from someone. I don't know. Yeah, the HR guy said that Bill lodged a complaint against me. Apparently, I told him that he could shove a steak up his ass and that us vegetarians were better than dumb meat eaters. I would never say anything like that, especially to Bill. No, I guess I also sent him a threatening letter. Bull. Ugh. No, they took my side of the story, but they said that they still had to write me up because it couldn't be proven. Ugh. I know, right? No, I haven't looked yet. I haven't had the nerve. It just makes me sick thinking about it. I knew and checked before I went to work. No, I don't want to do something like that. Would he? I mean, how would he even get in? Can't be. Yeah. I'll call you back if anything happens. Bye.
my information. Someone broke in. No, nothing's stolen. Nothing's broken. No forced entry. Well, they put me to my fridge. No, it's not some kind of joke. So you're not gonna send anyone over? All right, thanks. Useless. Yeah, just they were no help. They said that they'd keep a record and to call them back if anything gets stolen, but yeah, I know. Right. No, I'm just gonna sit here all night and I'm gonna catch this bastard. And if it is Bill, I'm taking his picture and I'm getting that jerk fired. Yes, it's Eve. Actually, it happened again. I tried staying up all night, but I must have nodded off. No, I'm not calling the cops this time. I have a surprise in store for whoever this bastard is. Yeah, it might be Bill. Seems he's been talking to everyone at work about me. I'll call you if anything actually happens. Bye. Even animal flat. 
even if extreme measures have to be taken. Like that on Caden and Bill? Yeah. What did you do to Bill? That's not even a concern. Nah. Uh, let's just say that uh, he had a little taste of his own evil. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. You guys are eco terrorists. Some would say that. Some would say that. But really, we're trying to liberate nature and bring back its original splendor. I know there's a lot to take in, so, you know, think it over. Uh, we would like to offer you a job in all of this. All of this? All of this? What sort of sick people hurt other humans to prove that animals shouldn't be hurt? Humans hurt other humans for a million of reasons. They have no problem with harm. But even less problem with harming of animals. Now, we found... Oh, so to speak. But how is putting animal meat in my fridge any better than Bill eating a steak? <laughs> Who told her it was animal meat? And that bear might be eating animal steak. 